What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're gonna to be talking about an application on your Samsung phone that can keep track of a lot of stuff that sometimes you are interested in knowing, but maybe you never knew how to track. Like if you saw a little toast notification up here from the system and you didn't know what it said and you erased it, there's a way to figure out what it said. You can get that history turned on. If you had a vibration or a sound go off and you didn't know what that sound was for, you looked at the notifications, you couldn't figure it out there's an app that will allow you to keep track of all those various things. And I'm gonna show you guys how to enable it today. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my son, Jonathan, for giving us some dinos to hang out with my three-year-old son. We got the yellow and green Raptor, the red and green T-Rex. And I also wanna remind you guys, if you wanna save some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my friends and partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just $15 a month. And right now for a limited time, one of their best years of the year, they've got all of their plans at just $15 a month, including the unlimited plan. Uh, they have a variety of different plans for any data needs you might have, a five gig plan, 15 gig plan, 20 gig plan, and the aforementioned unlimited plan. And during this limited time offer for new customers, all those plans are $15 a month. The unlimited plan normally is $30 a month, so that's 50% off the usual cost, which is a great value. All of Mint's plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. The great thing I love Mint that I love is you can do all this online. You can get yourself a physical SIM or an eSIM. If you need an eSIM for your phone or if it takes it like the S24 Ultra, you don't have to wait for it to come in the mail. You can just go ahead and sign up, go ahead and install the eSIM instantaneously. If you do need a physical SIM, you go ahead and get that sent out. They'll send you a SIM tool, pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, let the savings begin. We've been using them in the Phoenix, Arizona area for over a year and a half. All my family switched to Mint. We love the service here. Fantastic customer service as well. If you guys want to try it during this uh, limited time offer for new customers, go to trymintmobile.com slash springer. It's also in the pinned comment description. Sign up. Again, it's going to be a limited time deal, so it'll run out at some point. Um, the unlimited plan at $15 a month is a great deal. Just get started with Mint. Give them a try and see if you like it. I think you will. So again, trymintmobile.com slash springer to sign up today. We appreciate Mint for being partners on the channel. So the application that I'm talking about of course, for those of you who are seasoned Samsung users, is Nice Catch, uh, which is an application inside of the GoodLock suite. So let me back out here. If you go into GoodLock, those of you who don't know much about GoodLock, it's a suite of apps that allows you to customize your Samsung phone. It's made by Samsung. GoodLock Labs is a division within Samsung, not a third-party application. So you don't have to worry about security or anything like that. Two sides. Makeup allows you to customize the look of your phone. LifeUp allows you to customize the actual operation of your phone in terms of everyday use. If you go to the LifeUp side, there's an application called Nice Catch. Look into the causes of unexplained action, such as vibration and the screen turning on. So if we go in here, I'll show you the latest version. Scroll down. The latest version was updated back on October 12th, 2023, 6.0.01.3. It's been a while since this one's been updated. It doesn't get as updates as often as some of the flashier good luck apps like Theme Park, etc. But if we open it, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. I kind of want to talk about how I use it and what features I turn on or off. Of course, a lot of these might be useful for you and not for me, it just depends on how you use your phone. But I wanted to go through what it can do. So the first thing is sound history, shows a list of applications that made sound. So you can see all the applications that made a sound. Vibration history, I don't have vibration on, so it's empty. Ringer mode history, this is a list of applications that change the ringer mode. I don't really give any applications the ability to do that for the most part. so. It's not there. Call mode, show a list of applications that change the call mode. Again, I don't have that one on because I don't really have you know, applications that would change that. Media volume muted history, shows a list of applications that meet the media volume. I do have some applications that might do that like audio and video apps like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, etc. So I do leave that on. The screen ones I find to be the most useful. Uh, toast history, show a list of toast that popped up. So if you get system notifications here, and you don't know what they are, and you swiped away on accident, you can go back and find out. So things like updates or some other notification that's warning like your phone's overheating or something like that, you can check that out. Uh, screen wake up history shows you when you woke up your screen and which application did it. Now, most of the time that's gonna be system UI or Android system because that's what is invoked when you do wake up your screen. But you know if you can see if any other applications are waking up your screen, that could also help you troubleshoot like rogue battery issues. If you're having a battery issue, you installed a new app, try to figure that out from here. Detect commercial shows a list of applications that display ads after unlocking your phone. I mean, this one could be useful, I guess, for some people, but if I notice that an application is displaying a bunch of ads after I unlock my phone, after I install it, I just uninstall that app for the most part. So it's not like I really need that one. I don't really use it that much. Down here at the bottom, settings change. 
This one is a useful one to toggle on if you modify your settings a light like, like I do. I do that a lot for the channel. I'm always changing things, playing around with things on my device. And if it is your personal device and you like to play around with the settings, you might turn something off or on that you didn't like and uh, you want to know how to get it back to where you were before. The settings change history can help you figure that out. Accessibility setting change history. So this is like if you do need accessibility, like for sound and vision, you can see that as well. Show a list of notifications that are blocked and muted. These are all really good ones, I think, at the bottom to turn on because if you accidentally swipe away a notification to archive or mute it or block it for a temporary amount of time and you're trying to figure out why that notification is no longer displaying for this particular app, you can go in here and then retrieve it. So again, this app is very, very simple. Um, it doesn't do anything, you know, next level crazy. You can go up here to the top and you can clear all histories. So if you don't want to store history forever of all these different things, sounds, toast, screen wake up, you can clear it so that you start all over again. And of course, as usual with most Good Luck apps, you've got a list of the developers within Samsung's Good Luck Labs that created the application. But that's pretty much all it does. It doesn't really do anything else. Um, they have added some new features over time. You see notification block history, muted history, sound history were just added, but this one is updated less frequently. Of course, if you wanna stay up to date on all the Samsung updates, including Good Luck and all the other stock apps, system updates, all that, subscribe to my channel because that's pretty much what we do here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Again, hit the notification icon. Again, if you want to save some money on your wireless service, check out my partners at MidMobile. Try MidMobile.com slash Springer to sign up. 50% off the unlimited plan is an amazing deal. I appreciate men for being partners on the channel. Appreciate you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.